Hi friends. So I'm going to paint another uh, boat on a beach painting. Uh, I did this one um, a couple days ago. I've sold it. So I'm, I'm doing it on a, a 16 by 20. So I'll teach you how we can do a boat. So the canvas I'm painting on today, this is a 16 by tw uh, 16, 12 by 16, sorry. This is one that I painted the other day and I sold. I'm going to paint same one, but on a 16 by 20. Hi, Lisa. So, bear with me. Here we go. We're going to do a boat on a beach. I thought I would uh, start a uh, plain canvas. <laughs> Hi, Kathy. How you doing? <laughs> All right. Now, I, I've asked uh, what colors you'd like to see. Uh, someone said reds and yellows. I, I, I suggested either reds or yellow or blues. So Hi, Cindy. How you doing, honey? So I think I'm going to stick with the blues today. Um, I'll do the reds for you another time, Karen. All right. So let's get started on this boat on a beach, 16 by 20. I'm going to start by doing my sky up here, then the ocean, and then the beach on the bottom. <clears throat> okay, sorry, I should have my tape ready. Start with the sky. So as you all know that I'll be going back to work on Monday. <laughs> People are typing here. Hi Josie, I'm well. How are you, honey? <laughs> All right. I just got paint all over me. Isn't that great? Woohoo. Oh, I don't know if this was the glue I was using before. One sec. It was this one. Okay. Lumpy. Sometimes with the craft paint, it gets old and it gets a little lumpy on the inside. So, no worries. Okay. Paint the sky right now. I need a little bit of white. Okay. Let's do this. Let's start with the sky. I always put the lighter one on top and the darker color in the center, the darker blue anyway. Now the one, the beach on a, the boat on a beach that I did last time, that was on a, just a 12 by, 
12 by 16, very small. This one's a 16 by 20. And it's got the thick sides to it as well. Now, I'm trying to be quick about this so I can do my clouds on here as well. Because when the paint's wet, it's a lot better to do, to blend in the clouds. When the paint is wet. I think I'm going to do the horizon right about here. That looks like a good spot. Right about there. Now I'm going to do the clouds next because like I said, before it dries, it's better to do the, do the clouds when the paint is wet, so this way you can blend in the clouds, the fluffiness of the clouds. Just doing a little bit more blending. Sorry guys, this takes a little bit of time. Oops, don't worry about that. I will cover that up. A little splitter splatter. Okay, I like the top there. So, what I'm going to use next is a fan brush. I like to use the smallest one I have. Which one is the smallest? I think this one here. Okay, so I'm going to use a fan brush to put in my clouds on the top. Like I said, it's better to, to put the clouds on when the paint is wet, so this way you can do a little bit of blending, make them a little bit fluffier. I'm just putting the base here, and then I will be putting in the highlights as well. Anywhere. I like to put some clouds. dry a little bit because it is still a little too wet and then I'll put a little bit more white in with the clouds. Because right now this background's a little too wet. I should have waited a little bit more. But that's okay. I'll be putting a little bit more fluffier clouds in there. Okay so I'm gonna let that dry a little bit. At least I know where I want to put my clouds. And so let's do the ocean. The ocean is going to be a little bit lighter than the horizon line because the horizon line is supposed to be looking further away. So for the water, I'm going to use like a turquoise color here along with a little bit of blue so it's not too turquoise. But I do want a nice turquoise along the horizon, the very edge of the horizon. Just a nice turquoise along that one line in the middle. And then I'll bring it down with the blues. Wait till you see how I do the uh, boat. You guys are going to look you're going to say, well, that's pretty simple because it's a very simple boat that I will be showing you how to do. Very simple. No stencil involved. 
Very simple technique for doing the boat. So I think I'm going to have the, the beach. Maybe I look at one more line here. A little bit down. Okay, I'm going to have it right to about here. Uh, where the sand is going to go. The beach. Right there. That seems to be a good symmetrical baseline there. This is more of a shallow part of the, because it's coming close to the shore, so I need a little bit lighter here. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to paint in the sand part, the beach part of the island where the boat's going to be sitting on. How's everyone doing, by the way? hope you can see what I'm doing. All right. I'm going to do a little bit of the beach on the bottom. It requires burnt umber and a little bit of white, maybe a little bit of turquoise too, just to blend it in a little bit. You don't want the sand too dark, or this part too dark, because really sands aren't really, sand, beaches aren't really that dark. More of a, a cream color, if you would. Blending. Blending is my favorite part. Oh, I got a little bit of blue in there. That's fine. I'm just kind of hurrying this along because I don't want this to be a, a long video. But I will take my time doing the boat. I'm going to let the sand part to dry a little bit and I'm going to work on my clown coats because they were a little bit too wet before. So how's everyone's day going? Let's, oh, let's see. We have a couple of Kathy's here. Josie's here. Not sure who else. Oh, Debbie. Hi, Debbie. Debbie Hoffman's here. How you doing, honey? So Mother's Day is coming up next weekend, or actually this weekend. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. Okay. Just working on my clouds. I need more white. Moving my brush around, blending here and there. I'm using my pan brush. I'm creating flat boats.
clouds, I know I, I still need a little bit more practice on clouds, but this is the only way I know how to do them. It's definitely a technique, which is okay. Until I perfect them, this is how I'm going to do them. So I'm not liking that. I'm going to get rid of that right now. Sometimes you got to paint over what you don't like. I didn't like that. wet so I'll go back to the clouds once they dry again okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the blow dryer to the painting right now like right in this area here and I'll show you exactly how I do the boat I'm going to plug in my blow dryer YouTube channel? No Robin, I don't. <laughs> I just do this for my friends. I don't know if I can do, I don't know if I can do YouTube. <laughs> um, so the easy way of uh, doing a boat and I just thought this is fantastic because I'm like how do you draw a boat that's going in on the shoreline from, from the water? So I'm going to grab my chalk, piece of chalk here, and basically, what it is, is from here to here, it's a figure eight, width-wise. It's a figure eight. Figure eight. I don't know if you can see that. Let me see if I can just zoom in for you ladies and gents. So basically, right there, figure eight with my chalk and I'm going to make that into a boat going in on the shoreline. Pretty simple, huh? Thanks, Robin. All right, so I just explained how to do a boat. We start off with a figure eight widthwise, and I'm going to turn that, maybe I should do a close-up of how I turn it into Hi, Nina. How I turn it into a boat. All right, let's see if I can reverse this so I can see. Hmm, aim it at the painting. Okay. So, there's my figure eight. I'm going to make it a little bit longer on that side. Okay. So, this 
this might be a little bit too big for this painting so I might have to shrink it a bit so I'm just going to erase that a little bit with some water it's a little bit too big but like I said it's very 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 easy to make this boat like I said it's a figure eight figure eight that's it widthwise so basically I'm gonna do let's see this that's the back of the boat this is going to be the front of the boat right there that's the front so basically you're going to get a boat out of this figure eight it's pretty cool huh all right of course I'll tweak it a little bit with my paint but then you just get rid of the lines that you don't need which are right here now of course I'm going to tweak that a little bit Starting to look like a boat, eh, guys? I'll tweak that, of course. But yeah, that's how I make my boats. I just basically do a figure eight and um, turn it into a boat. That's a little bit wet there, so i got to wait for it to dry. But anyway, I just thought I would do... Uh, a little bit of a close-up for the boat for you guys. I'm going to put you back on my stand. Sorry guys, I just got to fix my phone here. Alright, I think that should be good. Hi Nina, how you doing honey? How are you? So I just showed you basically how to draw a boat. It's a figure eight, or you can say an infinity sign. And then you just, just takes about three or four lines to create a boat from a figure eight. All right, I'm gonna work on these clouds now again. Make them a little bit more fluffier, a little bit more realistic, hopefully, because I still need practice on my, my clouds. yet but I'm getting there there are certain brushes that you can use to do clouds but I find the easiest brush to use is my, my fan brush my clouds are my worst nemesis but like I said practice 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 All right, I'll touch up the clouds later. They take a little bit of time to do. So I'm going to work on the boat next. I'm going to paint it, of course, brown. Actually, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do the background here. I'm going to do the horizon, paint in the horizon. Let's get that done. Uh, I need a little bit of black for that. 
I could use brown, but I like to have a little bit of black on hand as well. Oh, a little bit of a background, a little bit of a horizon happening in the background. <laughs> okay, I'm going to let this dry a little bit. I'm going to add a little bit more turquoise on the top part of the horizon. Just have a little, have a little bit of a reflection of the sun, sun going down in the west. Because that's normally where the sun goes. Down to the west, west coast. All right, of course these clouds will need some work. Okay, let's switch chairs today. All right, now, the boat, uh, probably gonna do a little bit of concentration on this because as we all know, it's a little uh, detail work in the boat. So if I'm not talking to you, that means I'm doing the boat. <laughs> but that's basically a simple boat, figure eight or an infinity sign. And then it's just like two or three lines to join into it in a boat. Hello, Teresa. You can watch the start of this video. I showed how to do the boat. It's kind of like an infinity sign or a figure eight on the width wise and just a couple of lines to join to make into a boat. All right, I'm going to outline the boat now with some black. Get rid of some of the chalk lines here. Oops, just broke my chalk. Now, I don't like where this line is, so I'm going to disappear that. All right, I'm going to outline the boat now. This is just going to be a very quick, quick painting because the other boat that I did, I, of course, I took my time, but I'm just doing a quick one today. So I'm just erasing the chalk. There we go. I like that. And of 
course I got some black there but I can fill it in with the whites and the brown Okay. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to chalk in uh, the lines of the boat. Basically, this is a, obviously a wooden rowing boat. may not see this, but I'm just making the lines for the boat, the wooden part. The, I guess these would be called planks. <laughs> wooden planks. And of course, I will erase the chalk lines once I'm done and once the paint has dried. Okay. Uh, basically, that's the outline of the boat. I'm going to paint all that in with brown. I'm going to paint this in darkness anyway because this is going to have, like, right here, it's going to have, like, a little bit of a shadow. This light's coming down from this way. <laughs> Hi, Hi. How are you, Reza? Alright, gotta let that dry a little bit. So, like I said, I'm gonna put a little bit of turquoise just above the horizon. Because the sun always sets in the west, right? So we want that a little bit lighter along the horizon there. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of turquoise and a little bit of blue. Blending that in a little bit better. For now, I just want to get the horizon done. Okay, I'm going to top that up. <coughs> with the turquoise and the darker blue that I used earlier. Line that right in. This way it's not looking so straight. I 
like I said, I'm just doing this uh, very quickly. Okay. I'll fix those clouds afterwards as well. All right. Let me get rid of these uh, chalk lines for my boat here. This should be dry by now. Of course, it's not dry there, but that's okay. I'm going to use that for shading anyway. All right. Looks like I'm going to have to put the blow dryer to this in order for me to color in the boat. Just two seconds. Sorry, guys, for the loud noise. Sorry about that. Dang. All right, so like I said, the sun source is going to come from here down. So on the boat, on the beach, the shadowing is going to be right in here. So I'm going to do the shadowing first before I color in the boat. Let's see which brush. This one. So for the shadow, like the shadowing, I'm just going to get a little bit of uh, burnt umber, which is brown, and a little bit of black. I'm just going to use the edge of my brush here and just kind of go along the very bottom of the boat, just right about there. And then I'm going to come down. Of course, I'm going to blend this. Take a little bit of white, a little bit of brown, mix them together, and start blending in these lines here that I just created for the shadow. Is fanning out from the bottom of the boat and outwards. This is part of the shadowing.
a little bit more white. Get rid of All right, I think I like that. And then I'll probably do a little bit of waves here. I'm actually going to lower it on this side because it's too high, the water level. I think that was a little bit more leveled on. Don't want to have the water on even in the beach. Alright, I think I like that. How's everyone doing? Good? Good. I'm gonna give my armor back for a second. So if you if you're just coming in now, watch the video from the start, and it, and it shows you exactly how I did the boat. It's very simple. It's just an infinity sign or a sideways figure eight. Okay. Let me get my script brush out now. I'm gonna just do a little bit of water waves right there at the edge of where the water and the beach connect. So I'm just going to go on the side of my script brush and basically just give it a little wiggle. A little bit of wiggle all the way down. Just to make it look like it's, you know, got a little bit of ripple happening on the shoreline there. do it to the other side here all right that's just a little ripple maybe we'll put a little bit of ripples in here in the water I'm gonna wet it down with my my finger though, I'm gonna rub it in so we don't have that like straight, straight line. Going in the water, just little ripples, little ripples here. Oh, I mean, that's all I need. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so what I'm going to do is paint the boat, do the uh, side palm trees, and continue. I'll probably, 
work on the clouds afterwards because that takes a little bit of time, a little bit of time and technique. All right. I'm going to color in the boat now. Once I light a smoke. So the color in the boat, I'm going to use Burnt Tumper, which is, which is brown and white mixed together, maybe a little bit of black as well. Of course, I'm going to do it darker back here because this is the shaded area here. I'm going to keep it a little bit lighter on this side because like I said, the sun is coming from this angle here. And of course, I'll go over the lines of the boat again once I fill this in. But right now, I'm just covering them up with the brown. I'm going to let my brush a little bit. bit whiter as we get closest to the top because the sun is shining down. Like I said, I'll be Putting in the lines again. Maybe a little bit darker right in this bottom area here because really there's no sun shining there not even close Like I said, I've painted over the lines. I'm going to draw on the lines again, okay, of the boat. Draw on the lines of the side of the boat. It's kind of hard. So 
course I get enough water that I can touch that up. Need a very steady hand for this part. All right. Outline this part of the boat here. a very quick 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 job no, normally I would take my time all right that's basically the outline of the boat oh draw the seats in there. Don't wait for that to dry good though. While the boat dries a little bit, I'm going to do the palm trees on the sides of the canvas. All right, so I'm going to do them in chalk first, just so I can get a, an idea of where they're going to come from. I might have to get rid of these clouds here. I think they're a little bit too big and too low for this painting. We'll see. Right. I think that looks good. <laughs> All right. So for the palm trees. Okay. I'm gonna use my angle brush. This is called um, a deep green. And I'm going to need a little bit of my yellow just to give a little bit of highlight with the white as well. Okay, first I'm going to draw in the um, branch of the palm tree so I know which way I'm going to do my brush strokes for the uh, palm leaves. So this one's coming down there. This one's coming down here. This one's coming down here. Up there.
All right, let's outline these ones here on this side. All right. Okay. This is just the stems or branches of the palm trees. So for the palm leaves, I'm doing the dark green, a little bit of a brown, and a little bit of a black. Let's not for, forget, we're going to, uh, well, I'm going to be putting highlights on it. So, it's an angle brush, it's cut on an angle. Uh, I'm gonna start at the base here from the line and I'm just gonna comb it down like this. Comb it down. Pretty simple. Pretty much the other way. Like I said, I'm doing a very, very quick painting here. Now. Of course, I'll go over the uh, painting with uh, a wet brush to get rid of the chalk lines that I didn't use. Just chalk them in to get an idea of where I'm putting what. I hope you can see what I'm doing. Okay, highlights for the palm trees. I'm gonna mix a little bit of yellow, a little bit of white. Leaving a little bit of turquoise.
very, very quick changing. Okay. I'm just going to get rid of these chalk lines here. And the ones that the, I didn't use. Okay. I'm paint in the boat. And then what I'll do is I'll work on the clouds afterwards. Alright. So I'm going to paint in, well, actually, I'll chalk in first the seats to the boat. going to do like a little bit of a white border around the boat frame. I hope you can see what I'm painting here. Jose, I really liked your paintings from last time that you did. Hi. Hi, Diana. Okay, now I'm just going to draw a line to tie off this boat, so I'm going away in the ocean, and then I'm done, it's just a quick painting guys, that's all I'm doing. The other one I took, I took my time on the other one. a little bit more shading under the boat here. Get rid of the chalk lines of what I had here. <coughs> Voila. Like I said, I'm going to work on the clouds. <coughs> work on the clouds, make them a little bit better. But this is on a 16 by 20. Boat on a beach. Yeah, I'm just going to sign it. And then I'll work on the uh, the clouds when I'm done. Done, done, done. I'm gonna sign it in black. Thank you. 
Okay. Voila. Like I said, I'll fix up the clouds, but this is basically a boat on the beach. Be a little bit of a close up. All right, boat on a beach, uh, 16 by 20. Thanks for watching, guys. Maybe I'll do uh, an abstract after this one here since I've got my painting. I did clear up my uh, painting section here today. It doesn't look it, but I did. But I might be uh, doing an abstract afterwards. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Boat on a beach, 16 by 20. There's my new painting I did the other day hanging in my dining room. I love it. All right, guys. I'll go live uh, and do an abstract next.